crypto slow, cryptocurrency news and investing. Eye popping gains. Crypto slow with more crypto gains. What's going on, guys? Massive, massive breakout on Ethereum tonight. Everyone's dancing around, jumping up and down. Um, this has been a really nice breakout. I kind of saw it. It was tiptoeing around that 1912, and I was hoping for, probabilistically, a breakout moving into the weekend, and we got that. So when ETH's up, that means that everything that's paired to ETH is up. So let's get into it. Grapes sitting at 1.8 ETH. Let's do the math. I've been talking about grapes forever. So at 1.8 times 2100, one grape is 3780. Now, I'm going to repeat this. I do believe even just one grape can change your life. And, you know, as they say, don't put down a quarter to pick up a penny. Um, the one big lesson I learned from the last cycle was not to overtrade. Okay, the core positions I had in the light in the last cycle, I made really, really, really good profits because I had a lot of conviction and I held through the dips. Okay, so number one, you got to have that conviction. When you get a hold of something valuable, don't let it go. Okay, so grapes. 1.8 ETH um, moving into the IGO, the initial grape offering. And if you own a grape, that gets you all subject to change up to one ETH um, allocation, meaning you have to put in, you can put in up to one ETH. And $45 million market cap at around two cents, 2.2 cents, something like that, a coin. If you're an NFT holder, you get a 10% shave on that and it is kyc and then on top of that you have the grapes airdrop so if you own a grape you don't list it you earn bunches it's automatic it's soft staking just by not having it listed so you earn one bunch a day and those bunches get burnt for airdrop so the first airdrop that's going down on grapes it hasn't happened because the coin's not launched yet is going to be 4% of the total allocation to the grape NFT holders. So 40% of the grape coin goes to NFT holders. But with the first airdrop, it's only 4% of the 40% that goes to the holders. So a lot of NFT projects, as soon as the coin launches, people dump the NFTs. Well, with grapes, you're incentivized to keep holding so that you can continue to get airdrops on a continual basis, okay? That's huge, huge value. So if you don't know anything about grapes, it's a Web3 IP brand that's an NFT. They're building games, okay? They have several games out already. Grape Juice, Grape Solitaire, Juice Tycoon coming soon, Grape Island on Roblox launching, Grape Run allows you to bet real money on uh, this game. But here's the rub. As they build these games, they'll take profits from the games to do buybacks. So it's not direct divs to the NFT holders, but it's indirect in the sense that these revenue streams will support Grape coin. And here's the beauty. Grape coin is going to be integrated into all their games. That's the gem. That's what's needed for power ups. So they're creating real world um, income, integrating the grape coin into that and providing maximum value back to the NFTs. Now, as they say, don't buy the milk when you can own the cow. Again, the most valuable thing in this system will be owning one of the NFTs, okay? Plus, you got all these cool games coming. Like, there's supposedly Fortnite integration, too. I know Roblox in, um, announced, um, not 100%, but I'm pretty sure that they're going to allow for NFT integration 
into Roblox um, games that people create. So what does this mean? This creates a secondary market where the NFTs will be able to be used. You can play as your character in the metaverse or whatever is on Roblox, right? So grape ecosystem, okay? Grape coin, grape NFTs, airdrops, games, revenue, real revenue. And this is just not a PFP. And then it's also family friendly. Okay. So it's supposed to be family friendly IP. So, and then they're launching um, gear and plushies. And this team has done nothing but deliver. I think people are fading this. And when they realize, I honestly, I think this could run to five ETH before the IGO. It's quite, I think it's quite possible because even the smallest amount of holder change creates insane growth. I mean, because we went from, I don't know, it was like 0.6 and then it's just exploded and people are holding diamond hands. Now, if you're new to the grape system, you'll see these crates and then you see grapes. Well, a crate basically has a grape inside of it. It just hasn't been revealed. However, it's still got a grape, okay? It's not going anywhere. But you, you need to burn bunches to get this crate roof unrevealed. So in my opinion, if you're new to the ecosystem and you're buying a grape, I would just get one that's um, revealed already because bunches will become very valuable. If you saw what happened with Meme Land, this is just, it's just, it's just silliness. Meme Land from Captains, the coin launched, and it's still holding. Had a dip. Now it's back up. 1.5 billion. Okay. And Grape is launching at 45 million. Okay. So if we hit any, even just a 5 or 10x, it's going to be insane gains. Eye popping gains, as I say. Now, though, there's a TG with the pre sale 25% um, you get access to immediately. And then over a 12-month period, it releases every day. You'll probably have to do a poll, meaning you'll have to sign a contract. Now, with that being said, don't get scams. The coin hasn't launched yet. Join the official Discord and all that. Um, follow their Twitter. Don't get scammed. There's going to be a million fake um, grape coins that launch. And um, But if you can't afford the NFT... I would try to get into the pre-sale. Um, that's just my thoughts. And those are through via golden tickets. So that is grape. I think grapes are fire. Um, and I mean, personally, I think like one grape, I think could create a millionaire. Possibly could create a millionaire if they continue to build and expand this IP. So just keep that in mind. I think it, it could be life-changing. And I've owned a lot of junk NFTs, and Grapes has made me see the light that, you know, you really have to have a pathway and um, purpose, and real revenue is huge. I mean, it's cool to be part of communities that are chilling, but chilling doesn't keep the lights on. All right, let's go to number two, eye popping gains. Sats. Oh my God, it's like ridiculous. Ridiculous. I was telling you, get your sats, pack your bags. Ordinals got listed on Binance. I would not be surprised if sats is listed on Binance um, very soon. Ordi is doing well too. Um, I don't really have much already let's see what already so oh, already took that second leg dang son <whistles> all time high baby all time high um and a lot of people asking me where do you get your sats um the easiest way in my opinion is unisat and it usually lags the um exchanges a little bit i know polonix poloniex is really big um they tend to you know, see how the prices vary so much. Um, it really varies. So again, I don't. I'm not even going to possibly even think about selling any of this 
until I see a billion dollar market cap. Okay. I mean, this is the new cycle. Okay. So what used to be big, you know, a, a billion dollars isn't so big anymore. Oh, they got a website too. I actually never checked that out. Cool. It's got links to other things. Buy now. Very cool. Um, but market cap 298. So that's another 3x. And let me just say, <laughs> this is this has been this has been a good one. Now, if this does something crazy like SHIB, uh, yeah, it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> like I said, man, island money. That's what we're focused on in in this run. Um, but this is, you know, I had a whole bunch of people saying, you know, what projects are you in? And I've been talking about these projects because it's very, very important to DCA and build your base so that when you get these pumps, you're, you know, you're, you're cool, you're cool. But I'm not in a rush. Um, I could take some profits um, and, you know, do that responsibly. But my focus on this is market cap and adoption. And I think... At 298 million, it's still got a long ways to run. So, you know, we'll we'll see what Sats does. On to Elephant Money. All right, Elephant, still killing it, man. Still killing it. Still got my bags. <laughs> like I said, doesn't make sense to sell now. Selling the bull, baby. So we had this epic run up to an all time high, um, and then we had a dip. And now we're eating that dip, and it's moving right along. The big thing that's important with Elephant is the majority of the treasury is in BNB. Okay, so when BNB moons, you know, 1,000, 2,000, Elephant is exponential, and it's I I see that, and that's that's a good strategy to have. Is um, sometimes like let's say ETH right now is at 2,100. Let's say ETH goes to 10 to 15,000, okay? So you get like a 7x, okay? And a derivative or something that runs on that chain, you're going to get much higher multiples. So, you know, if you're trying to make, I'm not saying don't own the core assets, BTC, ETH, of course you got your bags. Um, but these, ex, these side bags, that's where the big, big money is made. So Elephant... Showing strength, um, and Darcy Donovan is actually going to be on the AMA. Um, so check that out in the Telegram. It's going to be tomorrow. Um, she is a celebrity, so it's going to be interesting to see. I'm excited for it. Um, looking at the Treasuries, um, Treasuries looking really healthy, busting up. We let's see where are we sitting at. 196. About 190 trillion, 187. So very, very nice. Um, as we talked, we had the flippening, okay, and then there's a second flippening. The second flippening is where Bertha gets bigger than the amount of tokens held by the community, okay. So that's going to be really interesting on the price action. Um, and, you know, because we had the parabolic into the, the flippening and then once, you know, the dip and then the second flippening, we probably going to see some magic from Elephant. Um, futures, still killing it. Um, half percent a day. BUSD, no complaints there. Keeps the lights on and um, it's a great source of passive income. Um, no problems. Treasuries look healthy. Um, check out Elephant Money Futures. Um, I like I said, it's 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 doing well. Um, on to Zen. Zen having a little green now. It looks really big, doesn't it? <laughs> Whoa! Because we had that bottom that like in the six zeros and a three, and I actually called this in my prediction video. Um, I predicted that Zen would go to six zeros and a three. And it went a little lower than that at some points, but that was my technical mining um, bottom. And, you know, you could capitulate through that, but um, it's all about perspective with Zen. So I continue 
to pick up Centurions, okay? Uh, my bag's about, you know, I hear people fudding, and my bag's like worth like a quarter million dollars, and I'm like at 300% earning rate. So I max minted from the start. Now, a lot of people could say I missed out on a lot of gains, you know, like if you if you crunch this down, there were one, two, three, four, five mini pumps. Okay. So by max minting, I, I missed out on all these early pumps. But as I talked about before, coin tool people just basically crushed all that liquidity. They sold into it. But here's the thing. They don't have any coins. Okay. I max mint and um, I do that for the 400 days, and then I, I'm leveraged at four or 500 days of time, which, here's the thing, that's a cryptonity. That is a cryptonity. So I have fresh coins coming off every month that have been maturing like a bottle of bourbon for 400, 500, 600 days, okay? And I just, I had my initial batch, and then I just continue to accumulate every month. And then everyone's like, well, gas is too high, I can't, blah, blah, blah. Here's the thing. A lot of people are like, oh, the Zinnians won't claim their Zinchurians because the gas will be too high. Here's the thing. Even if I'm at a loss, I'll still claim my coins because the amount of slippage to get very large amounts of coins out of this LP, I can tell you when the LP gets low, it gets very, very, very difficult to extract the coins. Even though there could be a ton of coins in here, it'll be very difficult to get it. And a lot of people don't still don't understand Zen. I, I've taken, you know, they're having they're having like uh, AMAs and this and Twitter spaces and I'm just like, and they're fighting and I'm just like, I'm like, dude, you just have to be patient. Realize Jack's plan is adoption times monetary input times time. You're selling time and a little monetary input for a massive gains. So this is sitting at a $22 million market cap. It goes to one billion, which is nothing. I have right now, my current bag, uh, a 50, I have 12, $15 million. Now people are like, there's no way you're gonna have 12 or $15 million. Yes way, yes way. I'll write it to zero because it it's the fact that it's distributed and um, it's being adopted, and Jack's hitting it from all these different angles. And this will run almost perfectly into the 24-25 bull run, you know. And it's going to be magical. I, that's all I can say. So Zen, you know, and, and they're like, well, it's too much. Just go over to Blur and pick one up. Because these people are selling these dirt cheap. Well, now it's not as dirt cheap because ETH is more expensive. But the point is, it a lot of times it's just cheaper to go over to Blur. Go over here on the menus, his Centurion, and just buy one off Blur. So I just accumulate uh, you know, what I need every month, and I just keep stacking. I just keep stacking. Now, step the evil stepchild, Pulse Chain. Um, I'm not going to talk a ton about this because there's a lot of controversy around Pulse Chain, but what I can say is, you know, it launched at too high of a market cap, which I, you know, I made that very, very clear, pretty much crashed. And now you kind of have this slow accumulation. Ah, so I will say this. Um, I have about 30 mil pulse right now, and um, my goal is 1 billion. So 1 billion at current market prices. Let's see, it's one, two, three, four, four zeros. Point one, two, three, four, seven, four, four, six, and then we'll multiply that times a billion. Yeah. It's about $74,000 worth. So I'm hoping 
I can get to that level and this doesn't pop because honestly, I don't think Paul Shane's going anywhere. You know, there's a lot of controversy. I'm not telling you to buy it. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. Um, and you know, I talked about Paul strip and scaling it. <laughs> uh, and you know, what are you going to say? Who knows what this is going to do? All I know is it has, it's widespread, seems to be gaining traction. And this chart to me looks like a bottom with a lot of crab and accumulation. And, you know, basically all the people that lost on the sacrifice will probably, they sold and then they'll end up buying back uh, more. It's just, it's the classic, it's the classic paradigm, um, you know. On to Titan. Uh, it's looking more like Jack's chart. <laughs> now, I will say that Jake Sharp is is extremely confident that this is going to turn around. And we're going to see. I did start some miners. I didn't go crazy. Um, I put about 5K in. And um, I set up some ladders. And he's supposed to be coming out with hype and stuff. And what happened on the eight-day payout was there was quite a bit of dilution. So um, I got about 0.6 ETH-ish on my first payout. So it was okay. Um, and then my other payouts will probably be just as diluted. So part of the problem with this is... I didn't want to get into... Now, you could say the same thing about Zen. You could say the same strategy. Max Mint, and you will be rewarded. Um, I think that one of the big alpha things with Titan X is that as your miners come out, I'm not going to put all my coins into staking. I will probably reserve 10% of my coins because... He's got a ton of ETH to do the buy and burn, okay? But here's something that he has to be careful about. If this liquidity gets too low, once again, it's the same concept. It becomes exponentially hard for him to get the Titan out of the LP. And I know that because when, you know, all the Zens that are illiquid with low LPs, they basically, it's impossible. It's like DXN when the price got so low. It's its very hard to get a lot out without huge slippage. And, you know, that's part of the reason. Now, once again, the comparison, you could say, well, Slobo, if you just max mint, then, you know, it's going to be like Zen. You're in profit, you know. Possible, but, you know, I've got like 40, 50 grand in my mints on Zen. And um, I don't know if I want to put that much into this, okay? Because here's the thing. If this works, um, my five grand should make me decent money, right? Um, so I'm participating. And, you know, there was some of the buy and burns early got Mev botted. And I guess he fixed the Mev bot. So he's been responsive to the community. Um, but, and I don't know what hyper is or hype, whatever. But, you know, I'm going to continue to mine, um, and we'll see what it does. But I'll probably just use my divs from my stakes to power my miners. Um, I'm, I'm just not sold on it yet, 100%. Because in some ways, the buy and burn creates an arbitrage loop, which will always suppress the price of Titan to the um, cost of mining but again he says that the cost of mining is going to go up very fast so i know there's a bunch of whales that are like putting i saw one guy put like 80 86 eth or something crazy in here so um titan x i don't see it yet but it could have some potential so we'll see we'll see but i definitely want to get as many miners in before the price goes up um yeah on to Tao. Tao had a nice run, topped out about 150. As I talk to people, you want to make sure that you have your Tao staked. You can stake it on TaoStats.io, and um, it pays 18%. So I got, I think my bag is like, I don't know, it's like six or seven grand worth of this. 
Uh, oh, staking is 18.7. So not too bad. And they actually have some tools and stuff. Like if you go to, I think it's, there's a calculator on the stake page. Yeah, but you have to actually, yeah, you got to be connected. So, but anyways, Tau is an AI protocol similar to Bitcoin. It has halvings. Um, this is one of my picks for AI. Long term, long term, maybe like three or four years out. I think just owning You'll look back at this, and just owning a, a medium-sized stack will will put you in. So this I would consider to be more like a, an ultra-long bag, and I'll just continue to pick up a few here and there on dips. Plus, I got my staking working for me, so it's pretty simple. Uses the Polkadot wallet, um, but yeah, Tau is that. Now, that was a lot. We've had some incredible gains, um, and it's this this feeling of euphoria. You know, this is a closing my closing thoughts. Um, we've had some euphoria, but you ain't seen nothing yet. You know, in the last bull run for a year, everything went up. So you could throw a dart, and everything went up. And the advice I have really is: don't over trade your bags, and um, don't you know own the cow instead of buying the milk and um, just watch opportunity cost you know I tweeted out there if you don't follow me follow me at Bitcoin slow on to, on X and um, you know I put that advice out there this feeling of euphoria that you have right now lock that in your brain because right now is typically where you would put, you would shave off 10% profits okay? But here's the thing, I've been I've been committing and DCAing to a lot of these projects in the bear, so I'm in very good positions, right? And when you get in those positions, you don't really sweat um, this. It's nice, and I'm excited that things are pumping a little bit. But I know that when this is really the real deal, full bull, it, <laughs> the the it's it'll be stupid it'll be stupid there's gonna be some good times some great trips um you know what can i say a lot of adventure a lot of adventure and you know i hope i hope to bring bring some of that this adventure and to show you what crypto can do um in these upcoming years but so if you are experiencing this euphoria for the first time maybe consider taking just a little bit <laughs> so that you don't flip out when it goes down because you never know what's going to happen in crypto so with that i appreciate you um like subscribe this is crypto slow if you're not talking gains then we're not talking <laughs>